what's happening people if you've been following my recent vlogs you'll know that i am in blackpool however i've just left my hotel from uh, night one it's st patrick's day today so i've got two nights in blackpool however this is just the um, end of night one and i'm off to get some breakfast now i didn't pay if you've watched the hotel review um, then you'll know that I didn't pay the £12 for breakfast in the hotel behind me. Um, I'm going to go find one in Blackpool. Now, a lot of you have been calling out for me to revisit Weatherspoon, so that may be the case. I might go to Weatherspoon for a breakfast on the seafront. Um, it is about 8.15 8 in the morning. I have checked out early. And because um, I want to go get a breakfast, I don't want to pay the £12 there. And, of course... I didn't, I didn't want to be filming too much in there when that convention that you guys know what I'm talking about if you've watched the other video, the convention's in there because I didn't feel like it was fair to be filming people knowing that they're there for that. I don't know if what, is that said private in their life and things. So anyway, you'll know if you've watched the hotel review that I did before yesterday's Mr. Beast Burger, which was fantastic, by the way. So both of them videos I'm going to link at the end of this one because them two, that Mr. Beast Burger was cracking. However, I have woke up hungry because it is like 12 hours later. So, like I said in that hotel review, I am currently in Bispen, Nor Norbrek, and it is um, a two hour walk to Blackpool. You can't even see the tower, I'm gonna to point you to Blackpool now. Blackpool is that way. However, the tower is not even in sight, so that shows you how far away it is. So we're gonna get the tram on, all the way onto the Pleasure Beach, which is, uh, a, a long, long way. So I'm going to get a tram onto the Pleasure Beach uh, and the weather spoons next to it, so I'll probably hit there for breakfast. Of course, it's being called for by you guys, so let's get on this tram and then we'll, uh, yeah, we'll go for breakfast at Spoons. Let's crack on. So I got that tram ride, we were a bit eventful, there was a few characters on there, shall we say. Uh, and we're going to Weatherspoons for breakfast, the Velvet Coaster, it's called, over there. That is where we're going for breakfast. So, let's go try a Spoons breakfast. I hope it's better than the last Spoons breakfast I had, which you can find on the channel. I'll try to put a card up here if I can work out how to do that. Because I did it in Halifax, near where I live, and it was poor, to say the least. Hopefully it's, uh, it changes with who cooks it. We'll see. So we'll go get a Spoons breakfast now.
Okay, so we are in Witherspoons, the Velvet Coaster Blackpool. Uh, took a look at the menu. I have ordered it via the app. Um, currently, wait times for drinks was one minute, hence why this is already here by the time I set the camera up. That is a uh, fresh orange and lemonade. Beautiful. Uh, that is a really good, refreshing drink in the morning. Can't recommend that highly enough. And I've gone for a traditional breakfast at six pounds and two pence, as you can see on the menu here. Um, you can get a small breakfast at five pounds sixteen or a large at seven pounds forty-two. I'm hoping to go for some fish and chips at dinner time, so I didn't want to fill up too much. So that's what I've gone for, six pounds and two pence. So I'll give you guys a close look at this menu, uh, and then we'll get the food. And as if by magic, the food has arrived. So, looking good. We've got two huge pieces of toast. Now, normally they'd be like plate fillers, but they're on top of everything. So, I actually went for a large breakfast. <laughs> um, so, I remembered I changed my mind because there were no mushrooms on the um, traditional breakfast, and I like a mushroom. Although, if that's the only difference, that mushroom's looked a bit small. So, this was seven pound and forty-two pence. Seven forty-two. You get your loaf back, which is probably worth about £7.42 just for two pieces of loaf back. Your toast, I'm just going to put my napkin on there and get the toast on there because I'm not a massive toast guy, but we'll give it a go. <clears throat> so you get three hash browns, two sausages, two eggs, two bacon, beans and mushrooms. Now, the only problem is there's a shortage of tomatoes in the country at the moment, so there's no tomatoes on this. Normally you would get a tomato on this, I believe. Um, does it say that on the, on the menu? Oh no, it doesn't. So maybe they've changed the, the menu and cancelled tomatoes altogether. I don't know. If, let me know in the comments if that's, uh, if that's something that's actually happened. So I'll give you guys a closer look at this and then we'll tuck in and get some strand out. So let's, uh, let's start with these sausages. Probably my favourite part of a Wilkesbury breakfast is the sausage, and my least favourite is the bacon. I mean, this bacon looks like it's been sat there for days. Look at that. But I think crispy is better than underdone, so I'm going to start with the bacon actually. Why with that crispy? That is really crispy. It's got some nice flavour though, salty. Regular viewers of the channel will know that when I'm out and about, I have to be very specific about my uh, my bacon. This is okay. I do prefer it crispy than underdone. If it's underdone, yeah, I end up leaving it. Not too bad. Right, sausage is my favourite part. I know, they, they, I think they use Cumberland sausages or linkage sausages, just take a look at that. I don't know how it's showing in the, in the, in the main camera, so... <laughs> These are fantastic. Mm. The best bit of a spoon spare first is undoubtedly these sausages. I'm going to break the egg now. Bring you guys a little closer to break the egg. Well, do they both break? They do. Beautifully done eggs. Runny, but cooked. I think they call them over easy in America. Absolutely perfect to dip your sausages in. Banging. Mushrooms. I'm sure mushrooms used to be bigger than this, though, to be fair. <laughs> but I love mushrooms. I absolutely love them. Look at that. You can't beat a mushroom. Although with all these hash browns and bacon and eggs and beans, there's not much room on this plate. Sorry, I'll never say that again. Actually, I can't promise that. Mm. 
mushrooms. Nice, earthy taste. Really nice. I love mushrooms. Three hash browns here. <clears throat> so, they look like they're nice. Got a nice crisp on them. You can hear that scratch. See all the flavour inside. Decent, man. Right? Mm. Nice, they're not oily at all, they're, um, they're not dry, the beans, perfect yeah, thank you. Beans are beans. I'm not sure what brand beans ha they use, but they all taste the same anyway. I know I get hate in the comments for that, but it is what it is. These eggs are perfectly done. There's no um, like rubbery bit on the end of the, the egg. Nice. Mm. They're spot on them. They're absolutely small. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to continue eating this and uh, I'll let you know my thoughts at the end. Let's munch it. I'm getting full now. Maybe the large was not a good idea. I haven't eaten any of the toast. I've still got hash brown left. The bacon's a bit, a bit Dino for me. I'm a bit fussy with bacon. Oh. There's that saying, isn't there? Your eyes are bigger than your belly. I mean, that's, no, no, it's not true in my case, but I think in this case, I went for the mushrooms and I re realized that they, they were extra hash browns, eggs, sausage. So it doesn't look like I'm gonna finish it. Oh. Oh. Unfortunately, that has beat me. However, it was pretty nice this time. So I'm pretty shocked. I wasn't expecting it to be as nice as that. The eggs were done perfect. The beans were warm. If you remember the last Weatherspoons vlog, the beans were cold. I mean, I got there at 8 o'clock in the morning on that last one as well. It's currently about 10 now. I got there at 8 o'clock in the morning and things were cold. They should have been the first things cooked. They should have been prepared. Um, I'll link that video at the end of this one so you can compare the two. However, this was nice. Everything was warm, fresh, night cooked. You can tell it's been cooked. I mean, you can actually see in the kitchen here as well, which you couldn't do in the Halifax one. There's, um, I'll show you guys shortly the kitchen area. You can see through it. So they've got nothing to hide here. I mean, it's, it's much busier, a much bigger place than the Halifax Weatherspoons you know, here on Blackpool Seafront. I did want to sit outside, um, however, the second and third floors were not open yet because it's still early in the morning. So they try to keep everyone in one place. They've got the fires on down here as well. But I want to sit outside and overlook the beach. It would be nice, even in the brisk March air. But I'm not bothered about that. I prefer to sit outside. As you saw in the Codfather video, a few days back. I, um, I'm going to give this a seven and a half out of ten. I think it was pretty decent. Now, it's not as good as your local greasy spoon, of course. However, the price of seven quid, you've got plenty there. I think in your local greasy spoon, this might be up, upwards of a tenner for the amount of food you've got. I mean, I couldn't even finish it. But 
all, all in all, I think so. It was a good, it was a good deal. And if in Blackpool, and you want something to fill your belly before you go out on the beers, which is what I'm doing today, it's St Patrick's Day at the time of filming. I'll be having plenty of Guinness for my tea tonight. So I'm going to probably get some fish and chips later on this afternoon, and then I'm going to have a few sherbets tonight. So fish and chips will be the tomorrow's video. I've just realised that I'm doing these Blackpool videos and I've not even been to the one pound burger, man. Maybe next time. We'll see. So, this has been a Witherspoon's breakfast. It's, uh, it was nice. Seven and a half out of ten. Decent for a spoon's breakfast. One of the be better spoon's breakfasts I've ever had. So I'm going to finish this. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow for another food review in Blackpool. Fish and chips. I might see if I can have fish and chips in the sea. Thanks for watching.